latest creation from <laughs> jamescamppuppets.com. So uh, this is Bowie. He was created for a client who, for the time being, wishes to rename, wishes to remain anonymous. Uh, and so, he, uh, anyway, he was created, uh, I think, for work with children. Uh, I say I think, but I know that. I don't know why I said that. Uh, he was created for work with children, uh, specifically uh, smaller children. And so he's got this wonderful fur texture that I trimmed. Uh, you can see I trimmed the arms and I trimmed the face there. And uh, another thing that's really cool about this puppet is the full spherical eyes. I've actually never done that, as crazy uh, as that is. I don't think I've ever, ever done that. Uh, also, this puppet has a really great thumb cup that kind of hinges on the bottom mouth plate, and it makes it super comfortable. Uh, also, you know, he's got this great hair that I dyed uh, myself, and of course it takes forever, and it takes forever to fluff it out after it's wet. Uh, but it looks really good, and it's a great color. Uh, he's got great uh, eye focus. Uh, love, like I said, love the puppet, love the body. And, and the, the thing about this body is... Uh, there's really nothing in here but your arm uh, in this part, and then here, uh, the, there's kind of a, uh, well, I don't know what you'd call it. I guess you'd call it a foam bottom, foam booty. Back it up, foam booty. All right, that's enough. So anyway, uh, one more time, this is Bowie. And before I go, uh, I'm going to show you a few more things going on in the James Kemp Puppet Workshop uh, that is so magically messy right now. This is a personal project that I'm working on. And you really can't tell at all uh, what he's going to look like in the end because his face is so incredibly fuzzy. Uh, I think I'm going to trim that down. I'm going to trim a lot here uh, along the mouth uh, and his eyes are going to be kind of wide set. It's going to be really interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and so I'm giving him also these wonderfully like gangly uh, arms. Uh, I think I'm gonna trim those down a little bit too. And here are his hands. And I know that you cannot tell at this point, <laughs> but he has very long uh, expressive fingers. And so right now it just looks like a muddled mess of fur. And so what I'll have to do is I'll have to, uh, you know, get get after the scissors and uh, start trimming that. So that's a that's a personal piece that I'm working on right now. And then the last thing I want to show you for today is this. This is really cool. I'm super excited about this. I am building this one for a little boy who submitted to me a drawing of the character. And check out this fur. This fur is spot on. So this is going to be a rat puppet. And I know he doesn't look uh, too rat-like right now. <clears throat> but... Uh, this is what the rat puppet will look like when he's done. Great head shape, uh, live hands, wonderful fur. He's gonna look really good. Uh, he's gonna have buck teeth up in here and in this area. Uh, and he's gonna have a big, big red nose. And oh, also he's gonna wear a flat cap uh, that's gonna sit right here on the top of his head and his little ears are gonna poke out. Um, oh, oh, and he's got these uh, uh, black beady kind of eyes that are gonna sit right there. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give him a little tail too. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. So anyway, that's the rat puppet I'm working on, and uh, I really want you to see the texture of this fur, because it is truly phenomenal. I've never worked with fur like this. It was very challenging. I will say that it was actually very, very time consuming as well. This entire puppet, as well as the blue one over there, excuse me, the blue ones and this one are hand stitched entirely. All of that is hand stitched, so. It's uh, taken about four days of on and off hand stitching. So, anyway, that's what's going on in the exciting world of JamesKempPuppets.com. Uh, check in for more. Also, I plan on making a video soon about my experience meeting the one and the only Carol Spinney uh, when he came to the University of Miami in Ohio. Uh, me and my friend David, Jose, and Savannah, we came, and it was incredible. Uh, we got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Carol and it was it was really uh, special and I brought one of my puppets I brought Ralphie and uh, it, it, it's an interesting story definitely too much to tell in this video uh, so stay posted for that uh, and until next time just wait for more from jameskemppuppets.com oh and don't forget to follow me on Instagram James Kemp Puppets uh, of course I have a Facebook fan page James Kemp Puppets and keep checking the website jameskemppuppets.com